Did you know that being a morning person is easier than you thought? It doesn't take a superhero to wake up at 6 a.m. and start the day off by going to the gym. All it requires is a change of habits and mindset that will align with waking up early. In this video, you'll find tips, tricks, and motivation to master the art of waking up early and leave the owl lifestyle behind. I understand it might be a bit difficult to want to become a morning person without having a decent reason why to become a morning person, so here's some reasons why you should become a morning person today. Number one is starting the day off with a calm and peaceful atmosphere. Literally no one's around to bother you. Number two, increased productivity. Mornings are associated with increased focus and productivity. Number three, more time for yourself and self-care. If you have long days at work, waking up earlier will give you time to do or work on something that you like. And finally, number four, being a morning person makes you automatically cooler. I don't make the rules. Now that I've hopefully convinced you, let's talk about how... Holy shit! Well, that was a jump, jump scare. Here. Anyways... Now that I've hopefully convinced you, let's talk about how to become a morning person. Tip number one is to start slow. Don't suddenly wake up at 5 a.m. if you're used to waking up at 10 a.m. or earlier. Your body needs to adjust to this change. Instead of jumping right into it, start by setting your alarm to about half an hour earlier than you used to and keep on increasing that gap. I don't know, every single night or every other night that you go to sleep and do this until your body feels comfortable and waking up at your desired time. So being a morning person doesn't automatically mean you have to be waking up at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. It could simply mean that you would change from waking up at 11 a.m. to like 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. Tip number two is to start going to sleep earlier. This goes hand in hand with the first tip, but uh, it's kind of self-explanatory. In order to be waking up earlier, you need to go to sleep earlier. So if you're used to going to sleep at ungodly hours, you know, being a night owl, you have to change that and that's going to be a bit difficult to change as well because your body's used to going to sleep later. So developing a good sleeping schedule and sleeping hygiene is very important when it comes to waking up earlier and it is also good for increasing your quality sleep. So what I would suggest is to limit your screen time at least an hour before going to bed. That way you limit that unhealthy blue screen that you get from the phones, from the laptops, etc. And instead of being on your phone or being on social media every like every night before going to sleep, I would say that you start practicing journaling, meditating, reading a nonfiction book. All of these activities will prepare your body into a relaxed state. It will help you to wind down a little bit. And then if you practice this every single night, your body is gonna have a cue to go to sleep. Why is there so much noise? I swear to God, I cannot film this video for the life of me. Anyways, tip number three is to plan your day ahead. In the evening, plan your day ahead and write activities that you want to get done the next morning. You can also time block these activities to so have a set time for each activity. For example, wake up, then it's 8 a.m. do this, 9 a.m. do that. That way you'll be motivated to actually get up and start doing these things. It also makes you have something to look forward to after you wake up because, I don't know, it can be a bit hard to wake up and have nothing to do because why should I be waking up earlier if I have nothing, nothing to do? So yeah, plan your day ahead will make that process easier for you. Tip number four is something that Andrew Huberman preaches in every single one of his podcasts that I've listened to, and that is getting a light exposure as soon as you wake up. The sun is like a natural lamp for us. It is very important to get direct sunlight right after waking up because it helps your circadian rhythm, it wakes you up properly, and will make you more energetic throughout the day. And lastly, number five is to stay consistent. Becoming a morning person will not happen overnight. It takes time to set these habits and to stay consistent for quite a bit of time. It requires a little bit of effort, especially if you're used to staying up until ungodly hours, you know, living that all owl, all owl lifestyle, whatever. 
but i mean you can always fake it till you make it start living like a morning person tell yourself that you're a morning person literally be delusional about it the more you tell yourself that you're a morning person the more you will act like it it's kind of psychological stay consistent practice these habits and be delusional about being a morning person and i believe you too can become a morning person so yeah being a morning person isn't always easy but if you implement these tips and form meaningful habits that will help you reach that goal of becoming a morning person i'm sure you'll be able to make it it is more than possible the more you practice these habits the easier they'll become for you and eventually they'll become an essential part of your daily routine so yeah i hope this helped like comment subscribe and stay groovy i'll see you in my next video bye